might show you with these. If you do that. There you go. Non roam. I go in prone. Don't know why. Just does it. Usually does it only with like one, maybe two. So if you select that, then they're down. Um, and then when the enemy comes, they'll they'll get on the, the ground anyway. Um, so we kind of play a bit of a waiting game. Um, although you can try and entice the aliens out by popping someone in, having a peek around. But they aren't necessarily inside the UFO because there's two exits. So they could come out the other side. Near a door, but that might be upstairs. And you can already see how good these guys are as scouts, just flying about the map. So, if they happen to leave the UFO and try and go around the side, which they do sometimes, not always. We can spot them. Oops. Damn it. Get there where I tell you to go. So they're getting louder. I can hear them. There we are. Get around the corner. <laughs> if anything comes out of that door, you should be stunned and shot to death. I'm going to change, gonna change to, to end. I shouldn't have too much issue, although if a popper comes, we might be in trouble. What the hell am I shooting at? Ah, multi man. There's the popper. That thing right there, that blue thing there, that is what's called a popper. And what they are is a living, well I'm not going to say walking because they absolutely leg it, they are very fast. Bomb. If this thing gets next to you, it will absolutely devastate your forces. Um, and there can be as many as like five or six on some alien craft. On this one there's just one. So we're going to see what happens. I mean, if you kill it, it explodes. But only if you use things like um, what XCOM starts with, basically. So they're incredibly dangerous. So even if it got fairly close and I killed it, I may still end up um, injuring my operatives. Um, so you've got to be careful. Um, when you get things like disruptors and devastator cannons, um, they don't cause it to explode. Um, same with toxiguns. Eventually I'll show you the awesomeness of toxiguns. In fact, we've got oops, a side guy. We'll show you. Pretty poor. But we can probe. 65% chance. Yeah, succeeded. It's an instant usability. You'll be able to see its stats. Also, that's on the floor. So, brain suck launcher. We've got low morale. We've got quite good bravery. As you can see, they've got no psi energy or attack, but an okay ish defense. Um, very poor accuracy, but it doesn't matter for the brain suck launchers because they just kind of fire and then it. A brain sucker pops out. We've already hit him a few times, uh, but they've got quite good health, 62 health. Um, eventually, my agents will have close to, or if not, 100 health by end game. Um, and what can we try and do? We could try and panic him to lower his morale and cause him to panic. Failed. 
succeeded. And now he has to maintain the attack. But he might be dead by then. But he can only maintain the attack while he's in sight. But he succeeds in panicking him. He's now panicked. What I can also do is attempt to stun. He's not, not got enough energy to stun. Or he's not in, not in range. Might not be in range. Try and stun. But yeah, he didn't have enough energy. It's worth just popping one out. That stunned that. Brain suckers look a little different, as you can see, they're dead there. But there, it's stunned. It looks slightly different. I'll show you, look there. It's actually stunned. So, we've killed three anthropods, and there's about five in total. Um, three multi worms, and we've killed about two. We've killed the popper, we haven't killed the spitters. We've killed some brain suckers already. Um, I'm gonna save. I didn't even save at the beginning, but it doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to have this unit go inside, but we're going to send a stun unit first, just to check it out. What it's going to do is go down to the bottom, just to make sure there's nothing in there. So this is kind of like a power room sort of thing. Center in there. I think I remember the layout of this UFO. Yeah, I know this one. Alright. That's a spitter. I know the sound. Oh, these guys here. I've already got a live spitter. That first bit that we got actually didn't die. Just ended up stunning him. So I'm gonna run over here. So another spitter, you can hear him. So I want these guys to turn around. There he is. See, early game even spitters can uh, can cause some damage. Later on, they're just a non-issue at all. There's, there's, they just do so little damage. Once your agents have got a reasonable amount of health. Don't know why I'm heading towards that. It's just silly, really. I can fly. Fly over to the other side. There's usually something over here. There's usually like a bunch of eggs and stuff. See, there's a spit of there. Some eggs. A chrysalis. over here. I'd like to keep those eggs alive. They can go towards my research. I'm head over there. Come on, turn around your falls. Attack. <coughs> Excellent. Couple alive. Good leadership bonus. All in all, a good mission. Can I research straight away? I wonder. I can. So now you can see we've got not only the alien UFO, uh, UFO type 3, we also have 
alien energy source, alien control system, and the alien propulsion system. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do each of these. I'm going to do the alien propulsion system, I think. Right. 